Hello, this is Engineer from Six back with another video. First of all, if you are new to this channel, I welcome you all. Thank you for taking your time and watching this video and checking out my channel. I share engineering knowledge through this channel. In this video, we are going to have a quick overview of a couple of features in SAP 2000 software. The first one is to draw frames quickly using Quick Draw Frame or Cable tool. Then we'll explore the option Glow to Grid Lines. At the initial design phase, defining the grid spacing can be difficult as the spacing could change with the design evolution. One of the features in SAP 2000 is to attach the frame or the area element to the grid lines so the element size or the frame spacing can be changed automatically using the glue to grid line option. So I'll open a new model and as you can see I have chosen the default units for this project and I'll choose grid only option and here I can define the number of grid lines and the grid spacing. If you'd like to learn more about grid lines please check out the previous uh, tutorial in this channel where I have gone through in detail about grid, grid lines in SAP 2000. So I'll define the number of grid lines. I'll keep the grid spacing as default. So we have defined the simple 3x3 partition coordinate grid system for this example. This is the quick draw frame option and also I can select this by going into draw from the drop down select quick draw frames. So I will choose the properties as default. So I will select this and left click continuously in the working window and drag over the grid lines so a frame will be drawn in whichever the grids which is completely uh, in between this uh, box so four frames are drawn you can draw a similar frame here as well if i go to a different level And I can select everything at once and I can draw frames at that particular level. So this is a very quick way to draw frames at a given level and uh, will be very helpful when there is a lot of frames at a given level when you're designing a building. So I quickly draw the, the rest of the frame in the building. For this example, we go to the zero level, delete the frames at this particular level. So I have the frame for this particular example. So now the next step is to uh, glue these grids, sorry, glue these frames to the grid line. So I'll right click, edit grid data, go modify and glue to grid line. Let's press OK and OK. So now all these frames will be glued to the grid. So when I right click here, edit grid data and I modify. And so if I change the spacing of these grid lines, by changing the coordinates, uh, whatever the frame which is attached to that particular grid line will be moving automatically with that grid line. So, for example, in terms of in, instead of six, if I input this value as three, so now you can see this particular grid line has moved from six to three. So and so, which is this particular grid line? So, I have, please have a look at it. So when I click OK, OK again, so that all the frame on that particular grid line has moved. 
So this is a quick way to move the grid lines along and and the associated frames uh, quickly in SAP 2000. So that's a quick overview of a couple of features in SAP 2000. If you like the content of the video, please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel um, so that you will be able to see more similar videos in the future. Thank you.